Hi, I'm Johnny, and this is Johnny Likes, the show where I normally talk about movies that I like. Today, I'm doing something a little different. Today, I'm going to briefly talk about five movies where my opinion has changed on them. Number one, Blade Runner. I first saw this when I was around 13, and I remember liking the look, the world, the scene where Deckard is enhancing the photograph, and the part at the very end where Rutger Hauer and Harrison Ford are fighting. But I also remember it lost me in the third act once Daryl Hannah moves in with Sebastian. There was something about that movie where I felt like if I just kept on watching it, I would be rewarded and it would finally all just fall into place for me. And it wasn't until my 30s that this finally did happen, and now it's one of my favorite movies and I watch it at least once a year. So it went up from a 3 out of 5 to a 4 and a quarter out of 5 for me. Just took like 20 years or so. Number two, Mad Max Fury Road. Mad Max Fury Road was extremely overhyped for me. Everyone was saying it was the best thing ever, and when I finally saw it, it was pretty much a letdown. I just thought it was an okay action movie. But after a few years passed and I watched it again, I had to ask myself, why didn't I like this? This actually has been the case for me with the other Mad Max sequels as well. I watched them, and then a few years later, I watched them again, and all of a sudden, I love them. I'm still not a big fan of the original Mad Max, but the sequels, yeah, they won me over. My biggest complaint about Fury Road is actually just that one dude playing guitar. I hate that scene. For whatever reason, it just bugs me an unreasonable amount and pulls me completely out of the movie. It's actually what ruined it for me the first time I saw it. I just couldn't get back into it after I saw him. Still, it's improved markedly in my mind, and it goes up from... About a 2 out of 5 to about a 4 out of 5. Number 3, Cabin Fever. I quite liked this movie when it first came out. It was a little bit of a breath of fresh air in the horror world. This was mostly due to it coming out in the early 2000s when everything was still trying to be the next scream. Cabin Fever had a different, more nihilistic worldview and just this generally queasy vibe about it that I liked. It was refreshing at the time. I watched it again a couple years ago, and this time around all I could see was its influences that stitched together. It didn't seem anywhere near as original or refreshing as it did 20 years ago. And this one actually goes down from a 4 out of 5 to a 2 out of 5. Number 4, Godzilla 1998. I was so excited to see this movie. I remember seeing it with a friend opening night. And once it was over and we are leaving the theater, I just felt so sad. I could see all of Roland Emmerich's tricks on display even as a 12-year-old. And I mean, if you can't please a 12-year-old with a movie about a giant monster smashing stuff, that's not a good sign. From the overbearing military, to the one scientist who knows what's going on before everybody else, to the let's do the Jurassic Park raptor scene but this time with baby Godzilla's, it all just seemed so lazy to me. So fast forward some 20 years later, and I give it a rewatch, and it still has all these problems. They just don't bug me as much this time. It's probably because I was expecting a bad time, and instead it kind of met me halfway. I didn't hate it this time, but I also didn't love it. It goes up from a 0.5 out of 5 up to a 2.75 out of 5. It's still not a great movie, and I can't recommend it, but it has grown on me and I see some of its charm. Number 5, The Dark Knight Rises. I like Batman, he's easily my favorite superhero. I've read some comics, I grew up on the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher movies. When Batman Begins came out, I was optimistic. It didn't blow me away, but it was pretty good and at least showed promise for a new franchise. When The Dark Knight came out, that's a whole different story. That one blew me away and it's still one of my favorite movies of all time. So I had very high hopes going into The Dark Knight Rises, and they were sadly not met in the least. I hated this movie when I first saw it. I don't even remember why I hated it so much, I just remember leaving the theater being mad. So fast forward to 2020, and I'm doing a Batman marathon, starting with the Tim Burton ones and going forward. And once I reach The Dark Knight Rises, lo and behold, I don't hate it this time. Go figure. It's still not my favorite, but I liked much more about it, and I realized that I was just mad that it wasn't as good as The Dark Knight, which is an unreasonably high expectation to have, really. 
So that one's kind of on me. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises goes up from a 1 out of 5 to a 3 and a quarter out of 5. So, there's a few movies where time has changed my opinion on them. I'm sure you guys have movies where you either like them more or less than you used to. Let me know in the comments. And while you're here, like, subscribe. It's quick, free, relatively painless, plus it helps me out. Thanks for watching me talk about movies for a little bit, and you can tune in next time to see what else Johnny likes.